Happy Rocktober 26th! I said I would bring you a live streamed tune every night for the night of Rocktober, and tonight is, the night is still young. I'm Karen Peterson, certified music practitioner and harp coach, and I am raising money for the sixth year for the Music for Healing and Transition program, the program through which I was certified to be able to play for patients in healthcare. And I want to talk before I play a little bit about the difference between you know, what is a certified music practitioner or certified therapeutic musician versus a music therapist. And certified music practitioners, we are doing a portion of music therapy kind of in the same way that someone who works a, a grill is cooking but is not a chef. Uh, so a chef is cooking and the grill master is cooking but just because you know how to work a grill you are not going to go around saying that you are a chef or that you went to culinary school. Um, so that's uh, a, a, a perhaps Better analogy is um, between um, a massage therapist and a physical therapist. Um, massage is a form of physical therapy, but someone who was only trained in doing massage would not go around and saying that they were a physical therapist. Um, what we are doing as certified music practitioners is that we, we have um, 80 classroom hours of training, um, we, we do an exam, we, do, um, we, we read and report on books, and we do a 120 patient internship um, that's, that's, that's supervised remotely. Um, and what a music therapist does is get a degree and uh, go through board certification. So the portion of the portion of music therapy that we're doing is passive listening. We are, going to patients with um, potentially no information about their situation or very little amount of information and we are looking to help with what they need in the moment that they are in right now we are not we probably will never see the patient again in many many cases certified music practitioners are just we're just working with somebody for that one time um, again, similar to massage, um, you can just go in and get a massage and you're not, and you're not part of a regimen of, of massage. You're just, you can just do it, just have one massage and never come back or come back in a year or a month. Um, a physical therapist, on the other hand, you're going, you have an injury, you have something you need to rehabilitate and they're giving you exercises, they're making you do things. Music therapist, they are trying to affect a change. You're probably going to see them multiple times. They are trying to help you recover from trauma or gain speech back after a stroke. Um, so that's not, we're not doing that long-term thing. We are not trying to achieve a healing uh, outcome. We're not trying to make, we're not even trying to make the patient fall asleep. Um, we are just in the moment for what is, what, what we can understand to be the most, the most helpful thing to help that patient with healing or with transition. And um, um, it's, it's, it's difficult that we, we do get in the situation of we get referred to as being music therapists. Um, and so we kind of have to look for the opportunity to uh, I try to correct as, as much as I can if there's just this passing thing and I, it's, it's going to look bad for me to say, you know, no, you're wrong, I'm not a music therapist. I, I, try, I try the best that I can to, to explain that. Um, I am not a music therapist, um, but it's hard because what this is, it is, again, it is a form of music therapy just like grilling is, uh, is cooking, but you're not a chef. Blah, 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 would you like to hear some music? Let me go into tonight's song. Um, I, um, um, no, I don't have anything exciting to say about the song <laughs> to, to, to begin with. Um, I've had people ask if it's religious, and um, well, I'll say more. Um, I'll say more after. Here comes the song.
That was I Will Follow Him by Little Peggy Marsh. Um, this was a this was a song I um, was thinking of. I was remembering that from Sister Act that they had done some songs from the '60s that were popular, and um, this was one of them. So, is it a religious song? I don't think it's a religious song. I think it's about I think it's about a guy. Um, but um, in in the in the movie Sister Act, um, the nuns all get together and sing this for the Pope. So there you go. Um, thank you for uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for listening to me blather on. Um, I'm doing the blathering to raise money. Uh, if I hit my thousand dollar goal, I will stop blathering. I will just go straight into the music. Uh, we need about two hundred fifty more dollars. If we hit a thousand dollars. You just get straight music. So that's your incentive. That's your incentive to, to donate. Thank you so much to everyone who's donated so far. We've got about $750. Totally appreciate it. Thank you. You are helping get more music into healthcare. Um, thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow night. I will be here for the rest of October through Halloween. And uh, have a great night. Peace out. Be kind to each other. Bye.